On a street just off the Rue des Martyrs, a nondescript door leads to what is thought to be the site of the beheading of Saint-Denis, the patron saint of France. It is open to the public for only a few hours a week. The caretaker is not a priest or a nun, but a Polish-born actor and theater producer named Zygmunt Blazinski. He has worked as a volunteer here for two decades. Le plus haut lieu spirituel, disons, de la ville de Paris. Mais on dit que c'est ici que Saint Denis, premier évêque de Paris, a été décapité par les Romains. Donc là-bas, vous avez un bas-relief de, de, de la décapitation de Saint Denis. Alors la légende qui dit que après avoir été décapité ici, il prend la tête sur son bras, il monte un peu plus haut à la fontaine Saint Denis, là il nettoie bien sa tête. Il la reprend sur son bras et il monte jusqu'à Saint Denis Basilique où là il s'est fondu. There's another reason why this crypt is so important. It was here, in 1534, that Ignatius Loyola and his six friends took their first vows to follow Jesus in poverty and chastity. They would go on to create the Society of Jesus, better known as the Jesuits. It just seemed so fascinating that here, it was this small place. It's only open a few hours a week. You know, yeah. Yeah, that most people don't know don't about, but it has a real historical significance yeah. just tucked away. And not the sort of thing you think about finding in Paris. On a Sunday in early October, the tiny martyrium filled with people who had come to celebrate Mass on the feast day of Saint-Denis. Un signe éclatant de ta grâce dans le martyr de Saint-Denis et de ses compagnies. En donnant leur vie comme le Christ, ils ont glorifié ton nom. 